This country's taken some hits lately. But when we get hit and are down, we don't stay down. We get up and we hit back with our fists or our nunchucks. And then, when we're done hitting and we're tired, because nunchucking can wear a guy out, we sit down on a couch. An American couch. A couch town couch. Damn. Lemon. Do you know you are sitting on 5,000 new jobs? And not jobs that came from some government bailout. They came from a rich white guy. We have been creating and solving this country's problems for 200 years. Where's our history month? It is a nice couch. Good lumbar support. Absorbent fabric for nap drool. That's just the prototype. As we speak, our fellow countrymen are rolling the new Cable Town couches off the assembly line, earning an honest day's pay so they can go to the store and buy milk for their families, which costs, I don't know, $90 a gallon. I'm meeting with the vendors tomorrow. Ray Moore and his conjoined twin, Flanagan Ashley, of Ashley Furniture will be there, and he is a genitally androgynous pinhead. It's a colorful industry with a lot of fun characters. Well, good luck fixing America. I hope success isn't far, far away. What about Star Wars do you want to say, Lemon? Let's just get to it. I did some spring cleaning this morning, and I found this baby Princess Leia costume that I bought years ago, and I thought it might fit Liddy. Oh, thank you, Lemon, but it might be a bit small by Halloween. Halloween? Oh, a girl can wear this anywhere. School, church, alone on the playground, a child therapist's office. Also, I thought you might want this Nixon biography that my dad gave me for my birthday. It had just come out, so as a joke, my dad signed it as Nixon. <laughs> yes, a joke. Nixon's been dead almost 20 years, not in cryogenic hibernation, resting up for 2016. I'm getting rid of all my junk so Chris can redo the upstairs. Oh, wow, you two are really nesting. Yeah, all that's missing is the joint answering machine message. I'm thinking Sunny and Cher. Lemon, I know how this will be received, but before it's too late, let me set you up with someone. Oh my God, come on, Jack. My colleague is newly single. His name is Kevin. I'm gonna stop you at Kevin. Has anyone ever known a good person named Kevin? Kevin Garnett helped me move once. I'm good, thanks. Kevin Costner cooked me dinner after a bad breakup. Kevin Sorbo introduced me to his podiatrist. Mr. Donaghy. Hi, I'm Stuart Durr. I'm the chief engineer here at Couchtown. Do you know the history of this building, Stuart? During World War II, the Bazooka Joe Corporation used a softer version of their gum to make armor-piercing bullets here. Years later, the government took it over. They turned it into a training facility for single mothers to teach illegal immigrants how to fill out unemployment forms. But then, we took it back. Ah, good morning, fellow patriots. Keep voting Republican. We've got your back. Ha. Now, let me have a look at this marvel of American industry. Good God! This doesn't look like the prototype. Looks more like the prototype than most things in this world. How could this happen? The one in my office was perfect. Well, we didn't make the prototype. We bought it at West Elm. Besides you, whom do I fire for this? I don't know, you? I mean, you're the one who insisted on hiring American engineers. All they teach us now is how to build roller coasters and survivor challenges. This is what we've been making for the past month? We have 10,000 of these? Uh, I wouldn't know. I'm not a math guy, really. This is only a setback. I just have to create a market for terrible couches. Besides, what did Theodore Bazooka Joe do when his eccentric millionaire father left him nothing but a tiny pink rock quarry? He baked those rocks and sold them to children as gum 